Let me tell you about one of my first spiritual experiences. I felt overworked. I felt burnt out. I felt as if I didn't have any energy to, to go through another day of work life. It was in Nashville, Tennessee that I prayed this prayer. I was in radio and television at that time, and I just was seeking something more, but I didn't know what that more was. I knew that I didn't have it in the human part of me to do more, and I prayed to God. I prayed, God, come through me. Give me strength and give me energy. There was a dramatic change. In Ezekiel 37, verse 14, it says, I will put my spirit in you, and you will live. Are you burdened by the pressures of everyday living? And would you like to ease that pressure? But you just are not sure how to do it. Even though you're watching this, and even though you're beginning to seek in this way, well, try this, like I did. Try allowing God's Spirit to fill you and to do God's work in your life. When you are filled with the Spirit, your words and your deeds will reflect a love and a devotion to God. And when God's Spirit dwells in you, the steps of your life's journey are guided by the Creator. When you allow Spirit to work in you and through you, you're going to be energized. You're going to be transformed. So today, take God up on God's promise to put God's Spirit in you. And you'll be amazed at just how fully you can live. The Holy Spirit is the secret of the power in my life. All I have to do is surrender to God. And so we surrender our weak little self. And we take on a much more dynamic power, more so than we can even comprehend in the moment. And it brings ease, it brings joy, it brings happiness. And this is what I pray for you. Pray this prayer. Dear God, I surrender my weak self. I ask you to infill me with your power and your presence and your abilities, your talents. Fill my mind, fill my body. I am ready. I accept in Jesus Christ's name, amen.